So much at uh, stake today. Nowhere more so, really, than at the Etihad. Manchester City bidding for what would be a fourth title in five seasons. What an astonishing run that they have had. And I know most of the people will say, well, this is a pushover. They should beat Aston Villa. They would beat Aston Villa nine times out of ten, uh, <coughs> 19 times out of 20, <coughs> if you like. But does the fact that Steven Gerrard will want to do his old club a favour. Philip Coutinho will probably be starting, you, you know, trying to do Liverpool a favour. Danny Ings will probably be starting trying to do his old club a favour. Does that have any effect at all? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. They've got the players to hurt Man City. You know, we, we see Man City are quite open at the back at times and, you, you know, you, they have the players, if he picks the right team to, to punish them, you have to put away your chances. Been on this show so many times, Jeff, on the last day. There's always drama. There's always drama. You know, the pressure's on. You know, last week, who would have thought we'd, everybody would have thought, oh, they'll beat, Matt, they'll beat West Ham. Mares will score his penalty and that'll be it. But that ain't the way football is. And I think, you know, they've they got a job to do today. The pressure's going to be on. For me, this is the ultimate. They win this. That is dominating English football at the highest level, in my opinion. Winning mm. it four times out of five out the last five years is, is a phenomenal feat. And... And personally, I don't think Man City are getting the credit for it that they thoroughly deserve. I think it's getting brushed under the... It's like, are oh, we take it for granted? This is a hard, hard league with very good teams in it. And to do four out of five would be amazing. I mean, but conversely, Clinton, if it was to go the other way and Liverpool won the title, I mean, Manchester City would be empty-handed in the season would become a bit of a disaster for them, wouldn't it? Oof, yeah, it would. It would be because that's no trophies. And, yeah, it would be it would be huge, to be fair. But I think it's all, it's all in Man City's hands. I think they'll be too strong for Aston Villa this afternoon. I know most of there could be a lot of twists and turns. And we might well see that. But I just think Man City will be too strong. But it's, you're right. If they don't win anything, oh, they'll be, you start, there'll be big, big questions asked about Pep Guardiola. For me, I wouldn't be questioning Pep Guardiola because his team well, are who would? Seriously, Clinton, who would be questioning him? There'll be lots of people because he'd be, have really? the whole season of... Yeah, because he's not won a trophy with that squad of players and, and being 14 points ahead of Liverpool and then getting caught and losing it, people would start questioning him then. I'm not saying I would because I still think he's a superb manager, but people would. If that Man City squad end up without a trophy this season, there would be big, big question marks. Not to say, oh, he's going to lose his job or anything, but people would ask. But I just think they'll be too strong for Aston Villa this afternoon. Football crack shop. Yeah, I know. Four wins it and you're saying it's domination. The best manager that's probably been apart from Sir Alex. And then, you know, if he loses it, it's a case of <laughs> the team's not great. Yeah, <laughs> you're going to yeah. get crit um, criticism. But listen, that's football. That's why we all love it. Mm. Well, they'd be bonkers, wouldn't they, if they were having a go at Pep? Because, frankly, if he wins this league title, it's his 10th league title in 13 <laughs> seasons in that's senior true. management, you know. Um, Barcelona and Bayern and, of course, City as well. Um, and they've only lost, what, three games this season? you know, twice against Spurs and once against Palace, which is not too shabby, is it?